Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. In this clip, we outline the essentials for defining standards for allowable roller misalignment. As we learned in Module 2 of Web 101, there are four risks for every single misaligned roller in your plant. The first, dealing with a path change, we covered in the last clip in this series. The second, compression on the inside of the bend, is seldom the limiting practical problem, so we will not focus on it here. The final two risks, damage on the outside of the bend and the wrinkle at an angle, must be the focus of any practical standards for roller alignment. Unfortunately, there are no standards for roller alignment. In fact, the only guidance we get are some rare best practices in the paper and converting industry. These rare best practices are on the order of a hair's thickness tolerance, about five thousandths of an inch, or 125 microns. We can do better than the occasional one-size-fits-all best guesses. We should do better. We can use science to calculate the web damage risks already discussed. What we need to do is finish the job, is to incorporate appropriate safety factors so that we are not hovering on the verge of failure. This subject is too much to cover here. The good news for AIMCAL members is that you can rerun the presentations I gave last year on this subject. If you think this is too much effort, please reconsider. If you move a roller when you do not need to, you cost your company money. On the other hand, if you don't move a roller when you should have, you cost your company even more money. Thank you so very much for watching this module in my plant practical series. If you want more information on roller alignment, See other clips in this series, or better yet, consider my Web 101 course that will give you the necessary foundation on this most necessary subject.